And like you said, you know, when you get back into society, people, you know, they're going to look, they're going to stare. Oh, yeah, that, that was <laughs> that was a hard thing at the beginning, mm -hmm. yeah, especially after I got out of the hospital and everything and was with my mom at CVS and stuff and getting my prescription drugs and everything. People just, you know, it's constantly, I was bandaged from head to toe. And, you know, people just staring at it. it bugged me. It hurt. But then eventually, a couple of them, you know, they come to up and like, man, you know, what happened to you? At the beginning, I didn't tell nobody. I wouldn't tell anybody how I got blew up in meth lab. It's, it's a house fire. You know, because I was ashamed. And, you know, and they're like, well, you know, thank God you're alive. We're glad you're alive. You know, thank God you're alive. I see you making it and everything. And I went on about it. And then, you know, you start feeling a little bit better. And then, you know, I, I told my family doctor the same thing. I got burnt in a house fire. That's the first meeting I had with her. Mm. I got burnt in a house fire. That was a shame. I didn't want, you know. And I went back for my next month checkup and everything. And I finally told her, I was like, you know, I wasn't quite honest with you at the beginning. I was like, you know, this is what I, I had a meth lab explode on me and everything. This is what happened. And, you know, she wasn't really upset. She was kind of depressed that I didn't tell her right off the bat. But she understood why. You know, I mean, people don't look at it, you know. Yeah, you know, I was messing up, and I know, but it's a shameful thing. You know, I mean, just at the beginning, that the, when I was, before the accident, I didn't care. I cooked a mess. Well, when I looked at it, who cared? You know, now it's like, ah, oh, dude, look what you're doing. You know, didn't thought, you know, everybody else who got hurt, and more people who got hurt, and it's man, you know, you're lucky, dude. You're lucky that nothing else happened, you know. Is that one of the reasons why you agreed to go to the state house? Kind of. I, I truly, I mean, I know some, some people don't look at it as in, you know, he was just doing it to try to look good. Yes, some people did. Or try yeah. to get a lesser court sentence or whatever. I wasn't working for that. You know, um, it was more after this happened, it, you know, realizing that what's going on, something's got to be done. I mean, it's not going to stop it. There's no way it's going to stop it. But, you know, if it was more of a controlled substance, then I, f I feel truthfully that this probably would have happened to me. And that's what I look at. And then, you know, if I can help it help from ha it from happening to somebody else, then I'm going to go for it. Because I don't want, you know, I mean, I don't care what you, what you do, what you do. But, you know, you take from me that the pain of this is unreal. And nobody should go through that. Nobody. Probably, I mean... How how many hours a day do you think you spend in pain? All day? All day. Every day. I mean, it, it fluctuates from, you know, to low, moderate pain to just, oh, God, how I hurt. You know, to where I just can't stand it. And there's nothing I can take to take care of it. I mean, they've had, they've had me on all the prescription drugs, you can, painkillers and drugs you can think of mostly, and there's nothing. Really? Yeah, and then they, they tell you that there's a lot of nerve damage. So, I mean, I was burned beyond third degree. I mean, they're all up. Oh wow! Beyond third degree. Now, has all that been skin graft, or all of this has been skin graft all my left side? Oh wow! Now, is to you does it feel tight? Oh God, yes. Okay. Yes, it's yeah. I mean, it. This was when I first woke up. And everything, my arm wouldn't go past that. Oh wow! And they had to do release surgery to oh, get it to where it'll open up. My armpit is missing. They had to do the same thing. I couldn't raise my arm further than that. They had to do release surgery, so now I can get it up a little bit higher, but not all the way up. Okay. Without the higher I go, the more pain I put okay. it puts me into. Because I mean, it's you can see it stretches and pulls the skin all up my okay. side. Um. Yeah, it was. Try to get used to it. That's the hardest thing. I mean, I'm still, you know, it's been almost two years. Mm -hmm. And I'm still, I have times where it's like, you know, I forget and I'll try to take my left arm and try to raise it way up. And it's like, oh, man, you're not supposed to do that. You know, and then this half of my left hand is numb. 
okay. permanently numb. I mean, it. I can move my fingers and everything, but mm -hmm. I can't feel them. There's, yeah. There's pain in them. You know, there's tightness in them. I've had surgeries to try to fix that, and it, you know, it helped a little bit, but not completely. Well, you have other yeah. skin grafts and things like that, or other surgeries as you age or whatever? Possibility. No, I, possibility. I know that I should, I need a scar release surgery on this arm. Okay. To help, like, straighten it out. I don't know if I want to do it. Cause that's a process. I mean, it's not fun. Okay. Uh, they knock you out and put you out and everything, but the healing process, it's it's a month long process. You know, they put you in a wound vac, and they gotta keep it, and you gotta go back every three days, have all that changed and cleaned, okay. and then you gotta it's go very back. Very extensive. Yeah, then you gotta go back through another skin graft and everything. And, and, uh, I'm, I'll just live with it. I okay. Think. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm a high risk now for skin cancers. Really? Okay. Real high risk. They, they, within, they said possibly, like, they give you possibly within five years I'll come down with skin cancer. Just because of the burns, you know. So, I mean, it's not like I'm done with it. So I'm never going to be done with it. You know, I run, I run high risk for COPD because I, I, my, my lungs look like my outside does. Really? Yeah, I had my lungs scraped twice. And that they're they're pretty much just like my outside. Now, what is that from the fumes? From when it went up, I inhaled the flames and everything. And so the chemicals kind of burned. Yeah. Oh my goodness! I didn't so, realize that. So I mean, it's just it's not the, you know it's not the outside. The inside messed up too. Wow. And you know it's that's stuff I gotta live with. They gave me a slim chance. They the doctor pulled pulled my my parents were divorced. Okay. And they pulled my mom and dad together. And told him, you know, hey, he's likely not gonna make it. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, and then you know, hearing my dad tell me that because my dad's my best friend, he he's my best friend, and then hearing my dad tell me that it crushed me. Mm -hmm. Knowing that, oh, man, he's gonna have to bury his son before him. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's what he was saying, you know, and it crushed me. But I made it through it, and I'm like, I don't know. There's parts of me that sometimes I just like, you know, why? Why did you really recover from this? You know, I mean, and so quickly. Mm -hmm. That's another one. I mean, honestly, it was quick. I mean, everybody th looks at it six, half, seven weeks is a long time, but for what I went through, it's really quick. There was guys that was in the burn unit, they got burnt a couple hours before me, I think, severely, and he was in there for several months. Wow. You know, and it, you just know, man, you came through this quick. Why? I mean, how is the biggest question. You know, how? And, yeah, I was messed up on methamphetamines. I was high. And, but I took care of myself still. You know, I ate, I slept. And the doctor said that's the reason why I lived, mostly. Mm. That helped out a lot because I wasn't strung out severely. You know, I was, I had the physical strength still. And I believe the act of God had to help. I Did mean, you believe in God before all this? Not really. I don't believe there's. I've always believed there's a higher power up there. But you know, with the way things go in this society and the world, it's like, man, is there somebody? Why is this going on? Mm -hmm. And then this happened, and it's like, man, there's truly somebody up there because you know. Excuse me. I was good or dead, mm -hmm. and that's 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 was in the back of my mind the whole time that this happened.